Hello, welcome, Devil Sniper here, and this is episode number 19 of our career mode with West Ham United in season number 4. And as you can see, we are four days away from the January transfer window opening, and we have to make a final decision on Lukaku. We either keep him, or we literally just sell him. If we're going to keep him, we're going to keep him for long term. Having a quick look at the table, Spurs are absolutely pissing all over the league. Unbelievable. We have 35 points and we're stuck in fifth position. Arsenal are in second place with 39. It's unbelievable. Anyway, let's get into looking at Lukaku. We're going to break him down. I'm not going to be critical of him. I'm just going to try and be, you know, give a decent feeling towards him. Now, we pick him up in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. I'm hoping he's going to make a decent run forward and not do what he normally does, which is look uninterested. And he does. He makes that burst of pace count gets forward the ball's not brilliant but it's just one of those things now we pick him up on the right hand side moving forward as you can see he's going to knock the ball out to the right hand side ultimately i want him to force his way past those defenders and make a bursting run forward now normally as we know lukaku never looks interesting he would just flake out to left hand side if he does that he's showing no sign of improvement if he bursts forward that for me is improvement and look at that that burst of acceleration forward. He actually nudged him out of the way. And also, he takes up a great position on the edge of the box. Just in case the ball come out, he could have taken a, a, a nice shot. And that would have been really, really interesting. Now, here, we're looking for decent first touch. As we saw in the first time we analysed him, his touch at times was absolutely diabolical. Nice first touch. Tries to get forward, but that's, to be fair, you can't take nothing away from the defender there. It was fantastic. Now, we pick him up in the centre of the park. He's obviously come forward a little bit. He's taken up a really good position. Gudetti, his strike partner, has the ball. What I'm looking for here is for him to spin off and make a really intelligent run towards the box. Trying to create his own space, which he's doing magnificently. Look how he goes to the back post, cuts inside, gets space on the defender. Unlucky with the actual header. Gudetti picks the ball up and, well, our Swedish goal machine does what he does best. Slots the ball in the bottom corner. And we go away with a nice 1-0 lead after 26 minutes. This is a great finish by Gudetti. Power, poise and brilliance. Absolutely brilliant. How do I feel about Lukaku? I feel he's showing some he's showing some improvement. Do I feel he's shown enough for us to really keep him? I'm not a hundred percent sure. And that's where you guys come in. But before you do, watch this. Jerome on the left hand side, absolutely taking the piss out of our defenders, knocks the ball into Wilson. Wilson with a nice piece of skill, dived in a bit early, and look at that ball to the back post. What a freaking header! Unbelievable ball to the back post and an unbelievable bloody header. I was going to be really critical and have a crack at Buckland and be like disgusted and dock wages. But you look at that ball, it's just literally no man's land for the goalkeeper and a fantastic header. The only place it really could have gone in and it did go in. Now look at this, that's our left back. It's in the 40th minute, Indy breaking forward. Getting the, the tackle in. Gudetti going with a fantastic shot. And then Philippe, oh! With an audacious finish. Anyway, what do I feel about Lukaku? I'm not 100% sure. I feel that he's still a little bit clunky. His first touch at times is absolutely awful. It's so horrible. It just doesn't work. At other times, it's not bad. It's really not too bad. When it comes to turning players and moving with players... I feel sometimes he feels really sluggish. I feel turning with him is 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 horrible. It's it's like turning a fucking lorry at times. It just doesn't work. Kenwin Jones here. Look at this ball to the back post. Nathaniel Klein pulls up, and we're just punished, which is disgraceful. Really, really disgraceful. But anyway, let me know your thoughts, your feelings on Lukaku. Do we keep? Do we sell and bring someone else in? I really do look forward to uh, to reading your comments. As you can see, it's half time two two. Let's go and join the game and have some fun. Because that's what it's all a fucking bout. Fun. Kolka with the ball on the left hand side. Bringing it forward. Knocking it into Isco. Isco uses fantastic pace and agility to get past Wilkinson for the Stoke defender. Breaking forward. Get inside the Stoke box. Pulls the ball back. Lukaku goes with a diving header. But that's a great clearance by Stoke City. Kenwin Jones on the left hand side. Being marked by Ravel Morrison. Ravel Morrison trying to keep an eye on him. The ball's knocked inside. Knocks forward into Adam. Adam plays the ball in. To the striker, I can't. I didn't see his name. I do apologise. A fantastic effort, but it was absolutely wasted. Ravel Morrison knocks the ball into Filippo. Filippo straight on Lukaku. Lukaku doesn't really have too much on. 
chooses to cut inside with passing it out to Ravel. Breaks forward, looking to shape to shoot, pulls the trigger, and a great tackle by Stoke City, and they managed to clear the ball. But Martins Indy brings the ball forward, knocks it into Gadetti. Gadetti's having to drop forward, there's not a great deal of space. Stoke are playing a high line, a very compact line. Lukaku has the ball, cuts inside, nothing really on for him, shapes to shoot, pulls the trigger, hits the post, and it's 3 2 to West Ham after 70 minutes. Absolutely fantastic finish there from Lukaku. Didn't really have too much on, had to really work for the opportunity and took it so 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 well and we pick the ball up again with Lukaku who loses the ball in the centre of the park not very good that time the ball's not forward out to the right hand side but Kolka is coming in and great tackle from Kolka picks the ball up but is dispossessed straight away and Butland comes to his rescue with an easy catch from the air and we pick the ball up with Filippo. Filippo knocks it into Eduardo. He's taken the further place forward, but he loses the ball really easily. The ball's fed out to the left-hand side. Jerome knocks it onto Kenwin Jones. Kenwin Jones with a nice turn around Tompkins. Sticks the ball in at the back post. Great shot and a great block there by Butland. Jones again with the ball, and the ball's knocked to the back post and Knightley with an absolutely crackerjack header in the last minute to tie the game 3-3. Great work by Kenwin Jones. Kolka. Pulls up, trying to play the offside trap. Really, really bad decision. And we go in at full time. West Ham United 3, Stoke City 3. And that could be a huge dent in our progress to finish in the top three, which is absolutely devastating. And as you can see, it is now time to address the transfer market. It is officially open. We are in January. And we've got some business to do. As you can see, Stoke City, the cheeky gets, are having a look at Bell Hander. Now, Stoke City, as you know, were taken over. They've got about 45 million quid. Schalke are having a look at Luke De Jong. Actually, quite a decent player. Very, very decent looking player. We're going to have a quick little look at the, the youth squad. So, I'm going to dial into the database. Have a look how our scouts have been doing. What sort of players we've got lined up. If we have any fantastic potential. And as you can see, we actually do have some decent, decent potential which is just amazing. Obviously, we're going to keep keep scouting them, make sure they grow, and hopefully we will be able to uh, look at Tremel. Nicholas Tremel, 89 to 94 is unbelievable, really unbelievable. I'm a little bit uh, surprised about Thomas because I thought he was going to grow a little bit more, and he really hasn't, but he's still got time. He's still got time. He's still got plenty of time. Now, we're going to go and have a look at our transfer budget because something strange is happening with our uh, transfer budget and our surplus weekly budget. As you can see, we have naught money and minus £10,000 weekly wages, which is uh, obviously quite devastating. As you can see, quite clearly, transfer budget, 397000 New wage budget is minus £10,000, which blows my mind. I'm not 100% sure how that's actually happen or if it's actually capable of happening. Now I'm going to go and offer a contract to a player or have a look at player contracts and see if we can address a situation for selling players and look at our remaining wage budget. 21474736488. What the fuck has happened to our wage budget? I have no idea what has happened. We've gone from minus £10,000 to an absolutely ridiculous ridiculous sum of money for our wage budget which I do not fully understand now I've requested additional funds for two reasons in the hope it resets our wage budget by giving us an allotted fee i.e. 5 million pounds we're only going to get around about 1.2 million with that 1.2 million we can then have a wage budget and hopefully that will sort out the wages as you can see 1.293 million pounds hopefully this will sort out our wage budget as you can see Juventus are now having a look at uh, Torre um, I'm not 100% sure if they're going to they, they're going to pick him up I mean I quite like the look of that lad I mean he's he's fucking huge he doesn't have great pace but he has unbelievable finishing you know there's I mean uh, on, Nelson Oliveira Nelson I'm, I'm interested in um, Rodrigo I'm not 100% sure about Rodrigo um, the, the value they wanted for him is, was, was ridiculous as we know but again look at that transfer budget um, sorry transfer budget the wage budget I don't fully understand it we can either have naught on everything or we get to <laughs> a ridiculous sum of money I don't understand it whatsoever but it's not going to affect the career mode it basically means I'm just going to have to stick to being realistic with the wages I'm not going to go and offer players a hundred thousand pounds and um piss it all up because that would just really 
fuck me off, let alone anybody else. And uh, I'm just devastated that it's been given that much. I'm hoping that when we get to the end of the season, it might just reset it, but I don't know. If anyone's had any issues like this before, or can explain how this has happened, or how I can get rid of it, please do. If you don't know how to do it, and um, we'll just have to do the, uh, the contracts in a sensible fashion, and continue in a sensible fashion. But I've got to say... I just want to say a really big, huge thank you to uh, EA for fucking us over yet again with your piss-poor fucking career mode, you absolute mugs. And I absolutely love career mode, and little things like this really do just piss me off. It's attention to detail that EA just don't have, and it's, um, it's frustrating to say the least. It really is disappointing, but I don't know what we can do, to be honest. I really don't know what we can do. I'm going to offer Tompkins a new uh, salary. Um, I'm not going to stick to his 40000 because I know from previous experience he wants more money. So I'm going to go ahead and only offer 44000 Now, obviously, I could have offered him 440000 and it really wouldn't have made a freaking difference whatsoever. But I'm trying to be keeping it to a realistic level. So we're going to go 44000 which I feel is a huge amount of money. It's 4000 above what he actually wants, which for me, I think is a huge amount of money. Hopefully, he's going to replay... The faith the club is showing him. I mean, we've we've stuck by Tompkins through and fucking through. So hopefully he will stay faithful to the club, you know, and appreciate the fans, appreciate the players, and appreciate the offer that we've stuck on the table. I'm really really hopeful that um, the deal will go through, but we'll find out. We'll have to see. But as you can see, a lot of the players are on uh, decent contracts. You know, we've got Filippo tied down now for four years, six months on sixty grand a week, which I think is a, a huge amount of money, but I think it's a fantastic deal. Anyway, guys, let me know how you feel about Lukaku. Start putting players in the uh, in the comments below, and I will, of course, catch you later.